Welcome back. In this video, we will introduce the probability series and the information series. Some traditional algorithms like uh, Bayes and uh, decision tree are based on the probabilities. Okay, let's get a quick start. First, let's make it clear why we use the probability theory. There are too many uncertain things in our life. Probability theory allows us to make uncertain statements and to reason in present of the uncertainty. Generally speaking, the theory can describe uncertain things with the numbers and um, the, with the, maybe a certain numbers. So that we will have the feeling about the uncertainties. There are three sources of the uncertainties. They are incurrence structure cities in system being modeled and uh, incomplete uh, observed ability and incomplete uh, modeling state. They are all the uncertain things. And uh, let's introduce to the random test. Random test uh, maybe is the very formula for us. It uh, can be repeated under the same uh, condition and uh, there may be more than one result to each test and uh, all the possible results of the test can be uh, specific in advance. Before test, uh, we count that means to which result we appear. So like uh, post uh, two coins and check the output and the throw the dice and the check the number of the pens, they are both random tests. And uh, also from the random test, uh, there are sample points. If the we is throw a uh, dice and check the output, the uh, sample space will be one, two, three, that they are probably uh, uh, the results will uh, appear will be the uh, sample space and sample point may be the one, two, three, four, five, these numbers. And random event is uh, is uh, like that, the output is five and uh, that is the A is equal to five, X equal to five. We can uh, translate it uh, like that. Here is a frequency and a probability. And the picture shows the definition of frequency and probability. Generally speaking, frequency is the number and it is uh, a currency times of the event and the probability is a radius we use the accuracy times of the event in the a to divide it by all times of the event probability has three uh, properties and one is non negative and for each average and uh, as the pro its the probability is larger than zero and, and uh, smaller than one a second is standard for inevitable the event s it's uh, it's uh, all the possibility is equal to one the third is countable additive weighty and if the a elements and they compatible with each other that is if a i and matches is not uh, equal to zero we can to uh, add it there as the possibility like that and the is and uh, and uh, the area of the a one a two is in and uh, also their probability can add and here is random variables and uh, it represents a random test of a various results and uh, it's the singles or real values function there are two examples about that and the random test uh, e4 and the two three, two test and check the sum of the uh, results and the sample of this list the test like that one two three and the i indicates the first outcome and g indicates the second outcome and x is the sum of the two lengths so the uh, random variables is about the uh, one two three if we throw two coins and check the outputs the sample space for the test may be like that and uh, it's uh, equal to s s s t and t s t t and y as a total occurrence of the back side of t so it is the random variables okay let's learn the random variables and their distribution functions here let's learn the discrete random variables and the distribution laws discrete random variables means all values random variables might be uh, finite and uh, all infinite such as the number of the result passing through the mean gate within 
one minute, the distribution loss describes the probability of the po a possible value of described random variables. Its formula is so like that. It's the VPP key, and uh, the key may be the 1, 2, 3, and uh, when the extra 1 will be with its uh, possible will be the P1, will be the extra 2, will be equal to the uh, possible 2. And then, firstly, the uh, as the, uh, the total possibles that will be equal to the one, and uh, the distribution can sort uh, uh, can ex express in the in the table. X L one is the to the margin the positive one, and the X two the previous one, and so on. Here are some special distributions. The first is the Bernoulli distributions, and uh, it is also called. Uh, Zero one distribution, two point uh, distribution, a b uh, distribution. At random va uh, variables, the x can be easier zero and one. It is a Bernoulli distribution. Its distribution loss is like that. This can be write as uh, this formulas and uh, x obeys to the Bernoulli distribution with p parameters. And uh, the distribution laws of Bernoulli variance can also write in as this follows as these tables when it is the uh, one is the result of its, its uh, possibility with the uh, the p and uh, we, <coughs> the result will appear as the zero and it will still with use the one to minus the p because the total is equal to one. So the expector of the Bernoulli and is the p, and the, the variance of the x dependence is the p multiplies the one plus the one uh, minus the p as the, to uh, use the, this formula to calculate the Bernoulli distribution, the expector and the variance. The second special distribution is Bernoulli distribution follows no coins test if we do. It's uh, n times, but every time the results of the coin don't affect each other. So the n times test following the uh, binomial um, distribution, just like the examples in the page. X is the times of the event A occurring in a binomial experiment, and uh, the probability of the event A occurring for k times in A experiment is that. We can use the, this the formulas to, to describe the, these problems, and uh, this times x obeys the binomial distribution, and with n and p, and then a parameter n means the n times do the experiment n times and n times, and the, the p is the probabilities. This is the expector like that, and can be written as the this uh, test x is the belongs to. Two a uh, binomial distribution and uh, uh, where the x e x equal to n p and the various x will be equal to n p and uh, to multiply the my y minus p and uh, it's the various. So let's uh, see another special distribution. Uh, is the Poisson distribution. Poisson is a little difficult. The page so the definition and Poisson distribution come from the Poisson theorem. If the lambda is larger than zero and is set to the constants, and uh, n is any positive integer and n p equal to lambda, and uh, the following applies to any fixed uh, non-negative integer k, and uh, the formulas like that. And the Poisson distribution is that if all the possible value of the random variance, uh, random variables are zero, one, and so on, and then the positive of the ticking is each value is like that. It can be possible if we can cal uh, calculate and follow these uh, formulas. And uh, there is a very easy way for you to understand it. Still. And uh, throwing coins, we do it uh, 100 times. It means the n is the big number, but the coin is special, and uh, the probability of front size is 1%, and the probability of the back size is 
99% uh, then the result of the test will be followed the person and the distribution so when the times of test n is very large the possible uh, possibility of the variables p is very small the binomial distribution is a Poisson distribution this page shows the relationship between the binomial distribution and Poisson distribution we can see the image they are similar and uh, they are most probably appears to win the x is equal to uh, lambda mm -hmm. and uh, uh, there are all comes from the binomial distribution let's see some more details about the distribution function and distribution functions as uh, the formulas like that and the uh, uh, distribution functions is the uh, no uh, subtractions and uh, it's a uh, range will start from 0 to 1 and then the when the uh, point is is uh, very large or is level large enough and uh, its distribution function will be equal to to 1 and uh, if the x is uh, regarded as the uh, coordinate of the random point on the number uh, alex the function value of distribution fx at uh, uh, the x indicates the probability that x fall in the tunnels like that and as uh, is the in the tunnel will be their probabilities and uh, there are continuous random variability and the positive uh, density functions and uh, if the distribution functions for random variables x has non-negative functions and uh, falling across the two uh, arbitrary real number x and can use the, this formula to calculate uh, their uh, distribution function and then x is called to continue random variables and uh, function fx is called the probability distinct functions of x or probability destinies and probability destiny of fx has the following uh, proper, uh, proper type and uh, it's uh, larger than uh, 0 and uh, it's means they will be equal to the area is be equal to 1 if the way uh, for arbitrary real numbers if the x root 2 is larger than x1 we we to calculate uh, the probability of the uh, range from the x2 to x1 x2 x1 x2 and uh, we can use the least area and to calculate uh, this area and uh, to and uh, and uh, do to calculate uh, uh, this area from the range x to the x2 if s uh, fx is continue at uh, x and uh, its destiny functions divide uh, derivative is equal to the fx and uh, the probability value of the random variables x takes the any real numbers is zero that is the its the probability is zero for continued random variables there are also three special distributions the first one is the normal distributions if the probability destiny function of the continued numbers the x is followed as uh, satisfies these functions and it will belong to the normal distribution and especially where and uh, u uh, equal to 0 and uh, theta is equal to 1 and uh, it's always the standard normal distribution which expect uh, that and the x is belong to the standard uh, distribution and uh, when the x is uh, u and uh, the distribution gets the largest uh, probabilities the values uh, when it's the u, it may be it's the zero. Let's get to the biggest probability of values about that. A large number of random variables will obey and a phrase immediately uh, obeys the normal distribution. The second is exponential distribution. If the probability distance of the continued random variables x is followed this formula where lambda is larger than zero is a uh, constant it indicates that the times when a random event into occurs once then x obeys the exponential distribution with the parameter lambda 
the dismissing if a predict uh, as uh, this x obeys uh, to e lambda and e lambda is the factor is uh, one lambda and the variables is uh, one lambda square as the image shows the lambda is the largest value this distribution is usually used in estimating the probability of in different time intervals such as when a component works well how long it will be broken and this distribution will tell you if the lambda is equal to 0 0.3 and the, the uh, component will have the after one hour and it has broken and the possibility will be the 28 percent and uh, the laplace uh, distributions and uh, these formulas like that and uh, it's uh, where u is a positive parameter and b is a scalar uh, scale parameter x obeys the laplace distribution and the distribution is present as the x and there is the laplace x u b and the expector is equal to u and the rest is the two uh, two and multiplies the b square as the image shows it like to the expensive distribution back to back when the x is equal to zero and uh, it will have the largest uh, values so the lambda distribution in place an important role in voice recognition and uh, GPEGA major uh, comprehensions. And uh, in this image, we make the summarized of the probability distribution. And the basic distribution is a polynomial, and a polynomial f has the n appearance, and a polynomial distribution and missing if the n is equal to very large is the uh, Gaussian and distribution and also distribution if the mb is the large to uh, 20 and the probability is the smaller to 0 0.0 is the way of point distribution and its internals will be uh, becomes the distribution into the expersonal distribution if the back to back and laplace distribution so that's the uh, matrix distribution that also talks about uh, this, about the probability distribution. For two dimensional continuous variables, and uh, it, we can continue their calculus to uh, calculate their joint probability descent. And uh, that's the uh, mar marginal uh, distribution. What's the marginal distribution? And the two dimensional random variables and has the distribution functions and uh, x and y are random variables and they also have their distribution function. So they, we can use the fx, fy and the quarter the marginal distribution function of the two dimensional random variables. So we can define the marginal distribution like that. And uh, it has the uh, meanings, uh, meanings the root, and the marginal distribution is the fx is equal to the x from i to uh, to the n, and also the g is the value to the very large numbers, and add their probability, and also marginal distribution can use the add the probabilities. For pi, it will from uh, uh, from the g equal to y to the very large numbers, the g equal to one two. It uh, also can afford like that, and the p i e one and p at p i two at p i three and so on. And uh, for continuous numbers, it's just uh, to not add, just uh, to multiply it under uh, their uh, calculus. So like that, we can uh, to calculate the area of their spins. After we finish uh, their distribution, the probabilities and how to cal calculate their uh, joint uh, distinct probability, and let's introduce the, a new concept, the conditional probability. Conditional probability is the to get uh, the probability A occurs and uh, when the B has been happened. 
and the probability is uh, of course called the conditional probability. Uh, for example, is the f if the x is x probability is is p x, and uh, when how to when x happens, and then y happens is probability. How to understand that? That means that means that x x uh, happens and then y happens under the conditional x happens and y happens and it's also when they are happens at the same times and it's the probability and then to advise the their uh, x pro, uh, possibilities so if we need to compute uh, the uh, p x y we can use this button to uh, to update data uh, this part and then we can uh, to for, uh, to get uh, the bs formula and the bs formula we can up uh, upload like that with the x because the the conditions x have the different uh, stable different class and uh, we do in which in every class and we have uh, the uh, possibilities the chain rules of conditional probability is like that, and it's uh, to use the x1 as the probability to uh, multiply the, uh, the xi to the conditional probability. And how to infer that? We can see x symbols and the x1, x2. That happens, we will use the, the x1 to multiply the x2 and the x1. So similarly, if we add x1, x2, x3, we will to calculate like that x1, x2, and uh, then multiply the uh, x3 and us x1, x2 happens. So the conditional and uh, this one we will equal to uh, this formula. So we we will calculate uh, one by one, and then we will get uh, this formula. Let's see the independence and the con uh, conditional independence. If the two random variables x, y, is there, and the, uh, the joint probability x, f, y, and the can slide by that, and uh, it will cost, and the uh, the x, the, the random rows x y are the independence if the for the continue conditional independence if the for the each value of the z for the conditional probabilities about x and y and the following applies these formulas we can see that and under the x under the z happens and x happens to occur can multiply the under they happen to what happens they are different affect each other so they will cause the conditional independence for understanding the bs rules uh, better let's see uh, examples and mr Wong to uh, the hospital for a blood test and got uh, a positive result that indicates that it indicates that he may have been attacked by the x uh, disease according to the data on the internet one percent of the people who were not uh, who were sick of this disease were false positive and uh, 99 percent were truth positive in those who didn't get so sick of this this disease one percent of the people were false Negate and uh, 99 were true negate. As a result, one Mr. Wong thought with only 1% uh, face positive rate and uh, 99 choose positive rate, the probability of Mr. Wong getting infected with the X disease would be 99%. However, the doctor told him that. The probability of the healing vessel was only about uh, uh, 9%. And how to 
uh, tools the dog trust the, the app. Let's see the use the BS the BS rules to uh, prove that. First, uh, we can use the x equal to one. It's uh, in fact, and uh, x to zero is not in fact, and uh, y is uh, another uh, variable and test as positive and test as negative. So we can execute uh, it's uh, Mr. One is the uh, uh, test as a positive and a positive and also he is inject we can after up, uh, up followed this uh, formula like that and then with the test the test on those things and then we will calculate that the uh, possibilities is 0 0.09 let's see some numerical characters of random variables and uh, its uh, expressions, expressions can uh, represent the ho the whole the data distributions, the whole the data uh, values about. And uh, for discrete random variables, then expressions can be like that. For continuous random variables, its uh, expectation and calculator uh, uh, calculus and uh, the variance. A variance is a measure of the degree of the dis uh, dispersion in which probability theory and uh, identic um, variance measure random variables or a set of data. According to the probability theory, random measure the uh, deviation between the random va uh, variable and uh, its mathematical expectation. We can uh, we can calculate like that, and to the to calculate the uh, variance, and the variance can expect as the sigma x, and it's called the uh, standard variance and mean variance, and this formula is called the standard variables for x. They also has the core variance, the core re relations, and coefficients, and the core variance mysteries to uh, describe the data and to describe the data distribution and the inward correlations coefficient indicates the strength of the linear correlations of the two variables and uh, the scalar of these variables and the uh, uh, correlations coefficient measures the linear uh, relationship between two variables and the core Variance matrix shows the relationship between all the variables, and the core variance matrix has a widely used, such as the PCA. And we can use the uh, core uh, variance matrix state, and the image processing also used it. And next, we will learn some information about uh, the information theory. The information theory is used in the decision tree and uh, uh, used uh, to design our uh, random forest and uh, this algorithms mm, the is the uh, information decision tree is the as a study how to measure information contained in a single and uh, this uh its inventor is the sunon and the sunon is the, in the sunon paper and uh, it's a uh, uh, mathematics theory of communications and in this paper, Sanon strictly used the probability theory. They use the probability theory to study the uh, communication problems and give a scientific and uh, a quantitative description of the information. And for first time, they proposed the concept of information um, in entropy. Let's see the information quantity, information quantity, defined information, self information. And it will be have the, um, some rules, and uh, the uh, functions should be the strictly and uh, uh, monotonic and discrete things function of probability. If the p1 is larger than p2, so as the is the function is the uh, is is the f p1 is uh, smaller than f p2, and the when p is equal to one and uh, the function p will be equal to zero 
if the p is equal to zero and with the, the function will be uh, very large in this case large and uh, the joint information conceptor of the two uh, in the case of event should be equal to the sum of their respective information quantity we can use this to uh, calculate it for example if you drew a coin and uh, the information quantity about the coin stored in the front and all operates and is that and uh, we can cal uh, calculate uh, in this formula and uh, we know that the principle of the octave or front is both uh, 50 uh, 50 percent and 50 percent is uh, also equal to one second and we can use the plus two plus the two and this will be one bit the information entropy is the uh, uh, score and uh, is the average uncertainty of the all possible messages transferred by the resource and it describes the things like certain levels and we can calculate uh, in, the, in this uh, formula and uh, for example the, and the store uh, uh, coin and what's the entropy of the stolen coin so we can calculate like that and uh, to calculate the percent first and then get the rest of one bit till now we have learned some basic concepts of probabilities and uh, distributing functions and numerical characteristics of random variables and information variables i know only studying this part is a very boring thing but uh, we should must it cause math is a basic algorithms if we master this part we can understand algorithm better okay hope to see you in the next video thank you for your watching bye